Hi, you guys. Welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can easily raise your vibration, and I will even go over the four stages that you will go through while you are training yourself to live in a high vibrational frequency. So stay tuned. We're going to start this video by centering ourselves. So simply sit with your spine straight. And it, even if you're not sitting or can't do this with us, then just simply wait a moment. This won't take long. Sit with your spine straight. Close your eyes. Inhale deeply through your nose and tense your muscles. Hold the breath in tension. Exhale and relax. Again, inhale in tense. Hold the breath in tension. Exhale and relax. And one more time, inhale in tense. Hold the breath in tension. Exhale and relax. Releasing all cares and concerns as you breathe out. Now bring your attention inward to your solar plexus, which is an inch or two above your belly button, and perceive here your light, a ball of light shining brightly inside of you. And now cause this light to grow and expand, filling your whole body with light. And then let that light expand out into your aura until your whole body and aura are full of light. And now just bring your attention back to your soles of your feet and slowly move your attention up your body until you reach the crown of your head. When you're fully centered, inhale deeply and slowly open your eyes. So now you should feel centered and calm and relaxed because breathing is what connects us to our spirit. So take a moment each and every day to close your eyes, take some deep cleansing breaths, tense those muscles and relax them, and be sure to expand your light each and every day. That is one simple exercise that you can do every single day to instantly raise your vibration. Now, let's just kind of get into this. Why would you want to raise your vibration? Well, if you've been a viewer of Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson for any time now, then you know that the reason we want to raise our vibration is because if you're in the lower, weaker vibrations, such as fear and anger, uh, pride, shame, guilt, if you're living in any of those mind states for long, then you're only weakening your mind, body, and spirit. But if you can raise your vibration above the level of courage, or at least bring it to the level of courage, then you are strengthening your mind, body, and spirit. As you can see in the scale of consciousness, your level is entering into the strength and powerful levels of consciousness once you reach that level of courage, which is rated at 200 on this scale. Now, the highest vibration on this scale is all the way at the top. That is the Christ or Buddha consciousness. That is what we truly all strive for. 
That is the Christ stream that exists within each and every one of us. Now, it is up to us to use our free will to choose these higher vibrations rather than using our free will to choose the lower vibration. Now, just because you are raising your vibration, or if you live in a high vibration, that doesn't mean that what you might label as bad experiences aren't happening to those people. Now, the difference between someone on a high vibration and someone on a low vibration is the way that re they respond to the situations in their life, whether those situations are good or bad or labeled as negative or positive. So the difference isn't really in what exactly happens. The difference is in the way that one responds to all of the events in one's life. So striving to raise your vibration isn't necessarily going to remove you from your current life circumstance, but what it is going to do is going to help you to have a higher quality of life, no matter who you are. Now, I showed you that quick exercise where you just take some deep breaths and expand your light. Now, that is a quick exercise that you can do every day to raise your vibration. And you can even do it if you're at work or at school or no matter where you are. I just want to give you a couple of other ideas because the important thing about raising your vibration is to always feel good feelings. Now, I know, I know, we don't always feel good feelings. <laughs> so I guess I really want to say you feel good feelings most of the time. So one of my favorite ways to raise my vibration, and that has helped me so much in my life throughout the years, uh, would be affirmations. I have talked about affirmations in previous videos, so I'll be sure to link a video right up here that will tell you guys all about how affirmations can change your life. But I wanted to tell you again here that affirmations are a great way to raise your vibration because they help you to override the unconscious negative programming that may be constantly going on in your mind. And you are then filling your mind with positive affirmations that will, over time, help you to reprogram your thinking. Another thing that I love to do to raise my vibration is to meditate and to pray. Anytime you open up that connection to your highest self and to God and to the highest vibrations of light and love, of course, you are raising your vibration. So even if you can only do it for five minutes in the day, be sure to take some time to yourself to enter into the stillness and to really receive loving energy of the universe and of God. And another thing that I love to do to raise my vibration is to sing. I do not have a singing voice, you guys. So this is something I do on my own. But when you sing, it's like you're doing it because you're joyful. I'm reminded of my husband, Neil. He sings all the time. So he's always humming, whistling, or singing as he does his work around the house um, or whatever. But it just makes me smile every time I hear it. So whether it's me doing it or, or even just hearing someone sing, it just raises my vibration instantly. So music is a great way to raise your vibration as well. Um, I have also talked about many, many other ways in so many of my videos, you guys. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to check out some of my previous videos because there are so many ways that you can actually raise your vib vibration. But now I want to talk about the four stages that you will go through before you are completely competent in a higher vibration. You guys, this advice is actually coming to us from the book, A Complaint Free World by Will Bowen. It's time to really understand these four stages. So let's go over them right now without further ado. The first stage of competency 
unconscious incompetence simply means that you are completely unconscious to the fact that you need to raise your vibration. You may be completely unconscious of the fact that you create your life experience through your thoughts and your feelings and your attitudes and what you are perpetuating in your mind. So unconscious incompetence is exactly as it sounds. You are unconscious of your own incompetence. So now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and move on to number two. The second stage of competency is conscious incompetence. So during the conscious incompetence stage, you are constantly catching yourself, um, kind of wallowing in those lower vibrations. So you may find yourself in, you know, resorting to anger or find yourself shaming yourself or judging other people, for instance, or gossiping. And in this stage of competency, you're, you're still doing it, but you're catching yourself in the act um, because your programming isn't quite sticking yet but you are conscious now of what you're doing. So this is like a real, you know, this is where the real battle begins because you are still acting in incompetence, but you're doing it consciously. So you begin to catch yourself and you begin to change those thoughts that you're having in the moment when you catch yourself. So let's move on to number three. Now in this third stage, it's called conscious competence. And in this stage, you are consciously competent in what you're doing and raising your vibration. You are taking an active part consciously in your day-to-day life that are leading you to higher vibrational thinking. So in this stage, this might be where you begin to do yoga or meditation or something to enter into the stillness or In this stage, it is more automatic for you to go to the higher vibrational thinking, but sometimes you have to reason it out to get yourself there. You are competent now of how, you know, how your thoughts are attached to your feelings. So you're becoming more competent about raising your vibration. All right. So now you have conscious competence. So let's move on to the last and final stage, number four. The fourth stage of competency is unconscious competence. And this is where you finally get it. It just finally clicks. You are no longer kind of wearing the training wheels when it comes to raising your vibration. You are now waking up each and every day and embodying your own higher vibrational self. The one that you used to imagine your your future self being. So in this stage, you already know what you need. You know what makes you feel good and that is what you do. You no longer engage with those lower vibrational energies. And at this stage, the unconscious competence stage, you might notice your life just changing on its own. You might notice new friends coming in or um, you obviously will have new habits. Uh, leading you to new groups and social settings. Um, But in any case, your life is definitely changing because you have changed by the time that you reach the fourth stage of competency. So my whole point of this entire video and to explain the four stages of competency is because I really want everyone to simply understand their own power. I want you guys to understand that you can live your best life now. Your best life is not in the future. So let's get out of stage one. Let's get out of unconscious incompetence. Let's move on to stage number two, at least, if not further along in the stages, you guys, because it's time for us to take our power back and it's time for us to understand that we can literally change the world simply by changing ourselves and raising our vibration. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with your friends out there to help them raise their vibrations too. 
And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I'm inviting you now to click subscribe right below this video. And once you have subscribed, you can then click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.